Hello YouTube, this is Mike, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to mine Litecoins. So, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is open up your desired web browser, whether it be Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, whatever you happen to use and go to this specific YouTube URL. Now this is another fellow YouTuber and his name is The Best Mac Tutorials and actually I've gotten a lot of information from this guy and he's helped me out a lot so I kinda wanna give him a shout out and uh, actually go visit his channel and he has a bunch of tutorials on how to Litecoin and Bitcoin mine so definitely go check him out. His, his name is The Best Mac Tutorials but he has showed me a software that actually he has made himself on how to Litecoin mine the like the most simplest way you could possibly imagine now I'm gonna show you how to do this and once again go check out his channel the best Mac tutorials and definitely go view all of his stuff but anyways I'm gonna show you how to set up his uh, Litecoin mining GUI and get everything uh, started and what you want to do first is go to this YouTube video and there will be a link in the description below go to download links and go to compiled binaries the first link is the one that you want to press on It'll open up a uh, separate YouTube page, as you can see the tab opened up for like a slight second. Then it'll prompt you to open, save, and cancel. What you want to do is save. And don't worry, this guy's uh, totally legit. I've definitely ran his software throughout my computer, uh, definitely once or twice, and everything is safe and there's no viruses whatsoever. But anyways, after you're done downloading it, you open folder. Then as you can see, it comes, a, uh, comes in a uh, zip archive file and you want to unpack that and press extract here. Or you can extract it to wherever you're going to uh, keep the file. Press yes to all. And as you can see, it uh, simply you know compiles into just a simple minor GUI.exe. Just one simple application, nothing else. And all you have to do is double click on this. And it brings up easy LTC. It asks for your pool host. So whatever Litecoin mining pool that you happen to be a part of, you just type that in. You, know, you don't have to do HTTP. You just do uh, whatever you have, .in. This is mine. This, this is a great Litecoin mining pool, but they, he does have the uh, links to the top three. You press OK. You find enter pool port, and you can find all this information on the Litecoin mining pool website of whoever you're with. Mine is 6332. Enter pool worker and actually let me open up that real quick because I do not remember everything from my account. Here it is. Mike C dot one. You, you can uh, copy control that or control copy. My bad. Enter that in. Enter in your password. Mine's one, two, three, four, five for this account. And then what card? This is asking specifically for your GPU card. Now he has a uh, he compiled this uh, application mainly to work off of ATI and uh, you know ATI AMD uh, graphics uh, graphics cards. So that's pretty much what you're uh, stuck here with. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you're gonna have to type in a uh, you're gonna have to know your thread concurrency instead of the actual model of the GPU. But if you're running on an ATI graphics card, all you have to do is type in your uh, model. And it, mine is 6520. Type OK. What do you want to call this minor? This is, you can just type this in as anything. So mine is going to be called minor, minor one. OK. Then what device is this? If you, uh, if you have multiple cards, you're going to have to run this program at least uh, two times. Or you're going to have to mine with this one and then open up the program again and type in the uh, other card. But if you're working off of just one card, you type in zero because everything works off of zero, one, two, three, if you're counting like that. Press OK. As you can see, well, it just made a little sound. I'm not sure if you could hear it. But as you can see, everything is ready to uh, go here. The threat concurrency is 6520, which is the name of my uh, graphics card. The work size is 256, and the intensity is 18. And then all you have to do is press Start right here. And then as you can see, that'll turn green, and this will uh, pop up, compiling kernel. Reaper must compile a kernel. Hashing should start within two minutes. And mine actually takes the full two minutes. If you go to his video, his starts up right away, and this actually does work. Mine will just take too long, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to wait around for this thing to uh, load. But anyways, that's how you do it, guys, and that's the easiest way you can uh, Litecoin mine. And actually, as you can see, it started up right away.
and it actually just uh, screwed up my computer real quick there. My uh, display driver stopped working because I'm trying to record a video and trying to run this application too. But anyways, that's how you do it, guys. And as I'm having some technical difficulties, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.